my shopping bag like sometimes I look really ridiculous walking with such a big bag but I don't like like the other um, shopping bag so whenever I go to the shop I always bring this one because I think it's cute so let's start with my favorite um, thrift shop and from there I got two pair of jeans I've been wanting to have blue jeans I don't know maybe I I, I, once I try them on, I'm gonna remember why I don't like blue jeans But right now I'm really fed up with my black jeans and I want some colors So I was looking for some denim jeans and I was able to get two I got this ones But I don't know if you can see but it has lines it's like white and, um, and blue And this denim jeans is boyfriend jeans and I love them because they're so comfy and all that and they give you movement which I love and but the only thing is that I will need to fix them from here because I'm sure they won't fit I have not tried them and I need to wash them first but yeah these are big ones boyfriend jeans these are um, these jeans are size 14 yeah they're pretty big you know you know what guys like I'm having I'm having such a struggle with the sizes like in Mexico is like different sizes and then in the US is different sizes and then here is different sizes and I'm like oh my god <laughs> this is so confusing like I don't know what size I am because it's even worse when you go to the shop like this and like and some of the clothing is from the US so you have these sizes in the US and some of them they're in the UK even though that some of them they say like UK, US and all the tags of the sizes it's still confusing to me especially with the shoes like I can feel jeans like I know these are big I don't know what size I am here honestly the struggles of being a foreign anywho I got these ones they were only four pounds and they look oh no three pounds not even four three pounds and they look new I also got another pair of jeans and these are denim and these are more tied to my body and this will I think they will fit me perfectly um, these are size 10 and they were three pounds but I'm pretty sure they're the ones that they are like like legging jeans even though it doesn't say that if I would have known I might have not bought it but I'm fed up with the jeans like this I kind of want French or something else so a project I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do this and then reveal the other thing and um, and make some French so yeah so from that store I got the two pair of jeans and it was only six pounds three pounds for each one and they are kind of new okay don't judge me this this one when I saw it I was like I'm definitely not gonna get that and especially because when I saw it I was like yeah I think it's really cheap but there was something about it and I'm not saying that it's like really cheap I'm trying really to buy things that I know it's gonna last a long time but this dress it's not one of those <laughs> please don't judge me okay so the fabric first of all the fabric is like oh here comes Lily you know <laughs> but <laughs> I loved it I fell in love with it it's so different and I don't know I thought like oh my god if I wear this with some I don't know I don't even know but then it has some details like the like these uh, buttons I thought they are cute I don't like this like like I don't like that I will definitely cut that off I will keep the one here though because I think it gives them it gives it a little bit of style but I love it and I cannot wait I cannot wait to wear it this dress like if I would have seen this dress when it was 
no way I would have get it. No way. But then it changed to 349. So so for this dress, I forgot to mention that it's really long on me. I'm very short. So if I have long dresses, like they kind of get really close to my knees and then they make my legs look um, tinier and then I don't have like skinny legs. Like I have like legs. <laughs> and so I think I'm just gonna cut a little bit just for my legs to look a little bit longer. So that's what we're doing with this pink Japanese inspired feeling vibes dress. For this, we're gonna undo these sides and make some French. And for this, I don't know, I don't know if I wanna... Sometimes I eat too much and I need jeans that are so big so I can feel comfortable in that. But I gain like a lot of weight for eating a pizza. Should I? Shouldn't I? I'll think about it. Now I have a big problem like um, another struggle like I mentioned before I just moved here to this country I've been here only eight months and back at home I used to have well this is my home now <laughs> back in my in my mom's house I used to have my sewing machine and all these things that I could sew really fast but my mother-in-law let me borrow her sewing machine but her sewing machine is very much old and she told me she said like i don't use it so i don't know if it's gonna work and it does do the job but i think something happened because now it doesn't go like that like like it's weird it's really weird so if you see me struggle and, and if you see me doing some hand work you know why So for this one, what I'm just gonna do, you can either just cut this, but I'm not gonna cut them because my denim jeans are too short already. I'm gonna try to use this extra fabric to make them a bit longer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take these stitches off. I don't have the right equipment yet. It'll be easier with the other tool, but. Once you get one piece, it's easier. So, this is what's gonna look like. What I'm gonna do now, you see these white lines? To make it easier, I'm just gonna grab them. So I'm gonna do this all the way till I get here. So this is what's gonna look like. Just need to finish it nicely and cut this off. And it gives a little bit more length. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm still thinking maybe to do it all the way over here. I don't know, but it's definitely longer normally it was just like this so I'm giving giving it a little bit more of length so I'm gonna continue with this side now is the best for the perfect fit for mom jeans. I used the elastic previously measured to the size I wanted for my waistband. First, I attached a safety pin to my elastic. Then, I made a small cut just big enough for the elastic to fit through. And with the help of my safety pin, I pushed the elastic through until it reaches all the way through the other side. To keep the elastic in place, I pinned it before straightening it out. Then I sewed the waistband and the elastic together. And just
just close the gap. Make sure you're only sewing the inside of the waistband. And for the last step, I cut off the extra fabric to make them shorter for my very short legs. Mm -hmm.